What can I say? What can I say? How's everyone feeling today? Good, good. Are you ready to hear and see some amazing talent? Let me hear you say yeah! Yeah! That's what I like to hear. Well, folks, these are some of your fellow guests. They have been practicing all crews to come on this stage and perform for you today. So when one of them hit this stage, what are you going to do? Yeah. I think I need more, even, even from three. Let's hear, what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, it warms my heart. <laughs> all right, so we have everything from, as you can see, pianists. We have guitarists. People are playing the ukulele. They're going to be singing all here for your entertainment. We even have some acting going on, too. So get ready for a great show. Are you folks ready for your first act? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, hailing all the way from Tucson, Arizona, please put your hands together for Alistair! Oh yeah, watch out. Hello everybody. How many of you have been to Portsmouth, England? And are uh, Julia and Polly in the audience? Yay! Oh, you're a long way away. I need you, may need you later for the choruses. Okay, this is not used to Dan. This is the quarter deck of HMS Pinnacle. And the year is not 2013, it is 1875. Okay? And what am I? I am what is called a bumboat woman. A bumboat woman. Sort of like the ladies that climbed on James Cook's uh, ship when he was in Hawaii or wherever. We have climbed onto the quarter deck from our little boats, our bumboats, and we are selling all sorts of things to the sailors. So this is a short introduction to what I do. I'm called Little Buttercup, dear Little Buttercup. I have no idea why, but still I'm called Buttercup, dear little Buttercup, come of your Buttercup, bye. I've snuff and tobacco and excellent Jackie, I've scissors and paper and knives, I've ribbons and laces to set off the faces of pretty young sweethearts and wives. I've treacle and toffee, I've tea and I've coffee, soft tommy and excellent chop. I've, what have I got next? I know, I've got chickens and conies and pretty polonies and excellent peppermint drops. So buy of your buttercup, dear little buttercup, sailors should never be shy. But come of your buttercup, dear little buttercup, Come of your buttercup, bye. Now, there's another character on this ship. And, catch on. Okay. One more, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here we go, catch on. Thank you very much. Okay. These things all have to come, come off. <laughs> Tie straight. On board this ship, on board this ship is none other than <laughs> Admiral Sir Joseph Porter, KCB. Okay? And it's 1875. There are a lot of funny things going on and promotions going on. So I'm going to tell you in a few verses, cut out one or two, it's a long song, um, about what I am, okay? When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I scrubbed the floor. I polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Goes on a little bit. <laughs> An article clerk, I made such a hit, they took me into the partnership. 
The junior partner's ship, I ween, was the only ship I have ever seen. Now litigation was so good to me that they made me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Litigation was so good for me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. It's supposed to be a chorus over there, you know. I grew so rich that I was sent by a pocket borough. That's a sort of special event into Parliament. I always voted at my party's call and I never thought of thinking for myself at all. Thank you very much, it's coming along. I thought so little, they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He thought so little, they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. You're getting it! You're getting it! Thank you very much. Last verse now. So landsmen all, whoever you may be, a yank, or a cobber, or a bloody pom like me. Now, if you're not fettered to your office too, be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Brilliant. Stick close to your desk and never go to sea. And you all may be rulers of the Queen's name. Brilliant, thank you.